Hello, this is Dave at One Mad Fish, bringing to you my DIY automatic, that's right, automatic, fully automatic heat bender for a product that I make. Um, it's a Neckermoyer heat bender um, that I set up with a Arduino uh, to do timings and also to do automatic bending, cooling, and um, so forth. First off, obviously I turn power on. It's 12 volt powered. It's not fully powered yet. It goes through a little servo set. And the light's green underneath. It's ready to go. The fans turn on right now. They're always on, except for when it's actually heating up. There's minor changes I'm going to be doing to this, and having the fans not be on is going to be one of the changes. I push the button to start it, fans automatically turn off, the light turns red, letting me know that it's heating up. After it does the full bend, and I pull the, these little tags off, I will flip it over so you can see everything. As you can see, it automatically bended. The light was still on, that meant the heating element was still on. Now that the light is green, the fans kick in, blow a nice cool air. These are Cooler Master fans. They're blowing nice air to the back here, which goes in between this piece of wood and the uh, aluminum U-channel I have there to help cool the bend. So that when it drops down, any time now, so when it drops down, <laughs> that they're nice and cool, automatic. Pretty close. To the exact same bend. For what I use these for, that's good enough of a consistent bend. So now, a little tour. For that, I'm going to turn it off. What I have here is Necromoyer in a small little U channel, well, half inch wide U channel. Smallest fitting or smallest hinges I could find. I have new ones actually coming because these are really thin. But um, brass hinges are usually the smallest ones that you can find, decorative ones. Got a nice tension spring here to keep the Necrom wire uh, fully taut. And then when it heats up, the Necrom wire actually grows and it keeps it taut. It um, grows probably about a half inch. I had my uh, screw to hold the spring right there and it just wasn't strong enough so I just wrapped it underneath and used the same hole in the bottom. piece of aluminum channel back here is to help keep this piece of wood that uh, tips up nice and straight because I was uh, at first seeing a little bow in the wood and I'll get an uneven bend right in, right in the center here. Fans are computer fans, 12 volt computer fans. They are the Cooler Masters uh, fan jets. They put out a butt ton of air. Typical power switch and a push button as a momentary button. And that's just a regular rocker switch. Now we're gonna flip this thing over. All right, what we got here is the guts. It's a little messy right now, but I'm gonna clean that up on uh, some upgrades I'm gonna do to this. Yes, 
This whole thing is running off of an Xbox 360 12 volt power supply. I just unplugged the power from the wall so I could flip it over with ease. Fans are running off of the 12 volts from power strip. So when uh, so when the light is green, they actually turn on. That is going to change. I'm going to get. I have a couple more of these guys on the way. I have this MOSFET running off of. This is going to one of the alligator clips running off the MOSFET. I have it switched. I have uh, 12 volts going right here. And I have uh, the gate wire hooked up to the uh, Arduino. Rocker switch to turn it all on. Momentary switch hooked up to the Arduino to uh, give it a trigger. It's all set on delays. Simple little program that switches uh, pin on high and sends out five volts, which activates um, one of the MOSFETs. I have uh, some MOSFET boards back here which I'm going to replace with just regular MOSFETs because these are a pain in the butt, to tell you the truth. Um, but these two are controlling the LEDs right now. One for green, uh, this one's for green, this one's for red. Um, my power distribution, I have the positive, which is the yellow, and the black, which is the ground. Um, this is running to that MOSFET. The other alligator clip is running to the positive. It goes all the way down and through. It's the other alligator clip on uh, Necromire. I custom made a, a swing arm that's actually attached to the, the bender um, with a servo with a really long throw arm and a dog bone from an RC vehicle connected to it. Um, I had to add a spring in there because with the long throw I needed a little bit of extra uh, tension and it also works on 5 volts so I needed a 5 volt or 12 volt to a 5 volt converter which is basically an old uh, car charger for uh, iPod touch. Um, so I got a 12 to 5 volt right there so that the servo runs off of uh, 5 volts. It's only 500 milliamps which is eh, but everything's all controlled by the Arduino. I'm going to be replacing it with a, another Arduino uh, Mini. Right now this is the, um, the Trinket Pro from Adafruit. I'm going to be replacing this because I think I fried a pin or two and I need more pins. Um, this is iteration number one. I'm going to be revamping it, cleaning up the wiring. So at least it looks kind of like this. But um, yeah, that is my automatic bender up close and personal.